Welcome to Real Vermont News. I'm Bob Prenier, here to tell you somebody's finally looking into things. Today, it's education. There have been a lot of complaints in the State House and in the press about independent schools that accept tax dollars but don't accept all students who apply. Opponents say that shows a lack of equity. And there's been even more talk about whether school choice really provides equal opportunities for kids. But what about equal opportunity and equity in the public school system? Education correspondent Rob Roper has been looking into this. Thanks, Bob. There's really not a lot of equity in what our public schools currently offer. Some public schools offer advanced placement courses, others don't. Some offer a lot of sports and arts, others don't. Unfortunately, our public school system traps children in their assigned schools even if those schools don't offer the kind of curricula the students need to achieve their personal educational plans. But we have a statewide funding system, so everybody's tax dollars are paying for all of this education. The thinking is that if everybody's paying for every student's education and a kid wants to take calculus or play football or play in a school band, that student has the right to go to any Vermont public school that offers those opportunities. Representative Vicki Strong of Albany has put in a bill, H-450, I think with 30 or so of her colleagues, that would allow any public school student to transfer from his or her assigned school to an alternative school. If the alternative school offered a course or a sport or extracurricular activity or even a service not offered by the assigned school, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? That's right. The principle here is that every public school student should have access to every public school resource. Representative David Sharp, who chairs the House Education Committee, recently said, and I quote, we have districts that spend $20,000 per student and districts that spend $10,000 per student. It's hard to argue that you have equity when you have that kind of variation throughout the state, and I end quote. Representative Strong's bill would help break down those barriers that lead to that kind of inequity and allow students to access the opportunities that they want and deserve. So, the bill is H-450, bringing more equity and opportunity to the public school system. A lot of people need that to happen, and Real Vermont News will keep looking into it. Would you like to share this discussion with others? It's easy. Just click on your Facebook share icon and tell all your friends. Then, go to contactyourrep.net and tell your state representative and senators all about it, too. And that's all the Real Vermont News we have time for. A lot more happened, and we'll be looking into all of it. Thank you.